COVID-19 and air travel, a new study out today seeking to answer a major question as we head into the holiday travel season. Just how risky is it? ABC's Gio Benitez has the details. With a mannequin on board, we're getting a look at how particles may move through an airplane. The Department of Defense working with United Airlines conducting 300 tests over six months. The mannequin reproducing breathing and coughing with and without a mask. When the dummy wore a mask, the results were encouraging, though they haven't been peer reviewed. The risk of transmission is virtually non-existent? Virtually non-existent. And again, this is, this, this, is a, this is a U.S. military study. Here's how the tests worked. The mannequin was equipped with an aerosol generator. Technicians would have it breathe and cough with a mask on and off. Using more than 40 sensors throughout the plane to detect the spread of droplets, the researchers found that with the mask on, only 0.003% of particles actually made their way into another passenger's breathing zone. But the team didn't attempt to replicate what might happen when the infected person stands up or moves through the cabin. Now, I'm not standing here telling people that I know exactly what they should do. But what I am telling people is if you are inclined to travel or thinking about air travel, there is a reason today, based on this independent study, that you can feel confident that you can travel safely on an aircraft. The study also reflected similar earlier studies that found a plane's unique airflow helps minimize risk. On a plane, air flows down from above each seat, not front to back. This helps limit person-to-person -person airflow. A HEPA filter eliminating 99.99% of airborne particles, including viruses, every two to three minutes. Just last week, the International Air Transport Association released new research saying the risk of contracting the virus on a plane appears to be in in the same category as being struck by lightning. Among 1.2 billion travelers, they found just 44 published cases of potential in-flight transmission, mostly in the early days of the pandemic when masks weren't required. This study is confirming that, you know, among all the different places where one can get infected, flights might actually be one of the safest places to be. But remember, flying involves more than a plane. As more people start traveling for the holidays, airports will also get busier. So experts remind us it's critical to wear that mask as you walk into the airport, go through security, board that airplane, sit through the flight, and land at your destination. Now, there are some caveats. They only use one type of mask, a surgical one, and they simulated just one sick passenger on a completely full plane. But clearly, this was an extensive study, and it gives us a real clue. Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York.